discouragement, depression. How am I going to handle it? How am I going to deal with it? My mindset was, I'm going to get this no matter what. <laughs> no matter what. My mindset was, I'm going to get this no matter what. Come on, guys. My mindset was, I'm going to no matter what. Okay. Here's the statistics in a nutshell. Eight in 10,000 people that ever play high school ball make it to the NFL. That's a crazy statistic. Eight in 10,000 or approximately 0.08% of high school senior boys playing football will eventually be drafted. Eight in 10,000. Could I get this goal? I was so determined. I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew why I wanted it. I created a plan of action to get it. I paid the price. Right. And I learned how to deal with disappointment and failure. Yeah. You guys see what I'm doing here? It's called the, I'm going to write this down for you guys. Law of repetition. <laughs> I'm going to put a smiley face in that P right there. Law of repetition. Law of what? <laughs> repetition. <laughs> Because that which we repeat over and over and over and over and over and over and over again becomes a habit, reality. A what? Habit, habit. reality. Habit, reality. So if the chatter in your head is like, dude, I suck, I'm not good enough, I could never be that, I couldn't do that, no way, I come from a bad background, I'm a victim of my neighborhood, I'm not tall enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not sexy like Kim Moroundy, I could never do that. <laughs> If that's all you said to yourself every single day, then what would your habit reality be? Just that. Exactly that. It may not be reality, but it's your reality. So check yourself. What are you using the law of repetition for? Good or bad? Positivity or negativity? Abundance or scarcity? Making lots of money? No money. And of course, uh, my favorite, my mindset was, I'm going to get this no, no matter what. what. Yeah, no matter what. No matter what. No excuses, no reasons, just results. And I can come up with reasons all day long. I'm sure you can too, yes? I mean, yes. Come on, give me a reason why you haven't accomplished something in your life right now. Anyways. Laziness. Laziness. What else, thank you? <coughs> Afraid. Afraid? What else? Not worth Because you let other people's opinions become your reality. Not set goals. Hey, oh, sorry, thanks for playing, my friend. Here we go. Laziness, procrastination, fear. Fear? What else? Come on, spit them out, guys. What are all the reasons we never ever accomplish our goals? Scarcity. Scarcity. There's just not enough. September, there's just not enough room out there. Roadblocks. <laughs> roadblocks. What kind of roadblocks? Excuses. Life happens. I know. See, poor people, destroyers, victims, always say life. Life happens to me. Yeah, like life doesn't happen to anyone else. What else? One more. Come on, guys. Faith. What's that? Believe it's faith. Be believe what? Believe it's faith. faith. Oh, like it's just it's faith. Yup, that's just how it goes. The friends, these are a list of excuses. Let me ask you a question. Look at this. Look at the excuses up here. Laziness, fear, procrastination, scarcity, life happens. I don't have any choice. How many people heard, how many times have you ever heard someone say, well, I don't have any options? <laughs> Next time someone says that, take your hand, right, this, touch your other shoulder and go, <laughs> <laughs> See, that's from September. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, don't do that. You can't take that back now. <laughs> <laughs> question, my friends, question, think about this, okay? How long have you been giving way to these excuses? Long enough. Like how long? Because I just I just did like a workshop like maybe two or three weeks ago. We we've talked a little bit about this. And the funny thing about this is, do these ever go away? Yes or no? Yes. No. Some say yes. Some say no. no. Will there, all, will there legitimately be always a some kind of reason? Will there be? Yeah, there's always going to be a reason. There's always going to be something. When I was uh, 303, 303 pounds back uh, almost a year ago, I was like, okay, it's time. 
Monday. You know what happened for a month? Next Monday I'm gonna start. Well, it's a holiday. Well, we got my brother's birthday party. So I can't possibly start now. Oh, it's another holiday. No way I could start. Well, God, someone's getting baptized and they're gonna have food there. Well, I can't start now. Well, they invited us to their house. And I come up with the reason, after reason, after reason, after reason why I should never lose weight. You probably come up with reason, after reason, after reason, after reason, after reason. There's always a reason. There is. Here's the thing. It's reasons or results. My friends, where have these gotten you today? Come on, come on. What's the result in your life of this? Unsatisfied. Unsatisfied? Still working at the same job. Still working at the same J-O-B? Just off the problem, that's right, Marilyn, thank you. If you continue to give these things attention, yeah, I know, your results will be here, or everyone else will be partying like rock stars, and you're like, but I can't, I'm too lazy. But, Mr. Temple, I'm scared. You think Bill Gates was scared? You think Tiger Woods is ever scared walking up, especially right now? <laughs> you know? My friends, look at those things on the board right there. The reason I have this no matter what up here is, it's no matter what. The mindset is no matter what. No matter what. What if I would have been like, well, I had a shoulder surgery. That means I'm not supposed to play football anymore. Well, I've had two shoulder surgeries. I'm just supposed to... Good. Here's a picture of anyone you know who this is. Mary J. Blige was the forewoman. Took another picture. I was single at the time. I was at Super Bowl 36. Right here. Every year, get one of these things. 